Hello, Ben the Pat Tester here. Welcome back to my channel, Kate from Pat Testing. We are testing a uh, one of these food trucks that you see, one of these old converted horse boxes. And this particular one does um, Dutch pancakes or something. Very nice. And uh, so, just a quick video, um, just for some common things to look out for when you're testing these sort of items um, in this. So. There's various catering bits and bobs and things like that. So first thing that we have identified, where is it? There. So we've identified an item here, um, a Philips machine, but it obviously wasn't bought in the UK because it's got a, um, a European plug on it being used with one of these adapters. Now, of course, with these adapters, um, you can see there the earth pin is plastic. Um, these Shuko, I think they're called Shuko things, um, they've got two pins there and then you can see there's a, there is an earth provision there which uh, there'll be a male pin normally in a European plug socket which gives you the earth. But obviously using this adapter in the UK you're basically bypassing the earth so when you're using the product uh, there's no earth provision on it so that's uh, that's one thing to look out for there when testing. I mean, you, you'll find them anywhere, not necessarily in catering trucks. Um, so we've got some items here, some good quality items here. Of course, when you're testing in these sort of environments, you're going to find grease and, uh, and deposits and things like that. So try and carry a pair of latex gloves with you. It's like a little top tip there. And then also with these trucks, now you'll also need to be carrying most probably your 16 amp adapters and the reason is you know a lot of these trucks have hookup um, or fly leads as they're called um, to plug into generators on site or um, you know th this particular one they've got a 13 to 16 adapter here so they can run this cable into a into wherever they are to to get mains power and then plug it into their trucks so obviously you're going to have to test the adapter and you're also going to have to test the fly lead separately not forgetting on these 16 amp connectors that you must open up the connectors to perform the full vision inspection um, mainly these you know they are IP rated so they you know they shouldn't be letting any water in there but sometimes the seals go and um, you'll get rust on the terminals inside where water gets in and then over time obviously uh, you'll get a, a, a bad termination inside so always worth checking always check that the flaps are also uh, present on here because that gives the socket its IP rating as well against dust and more importantly water ingress so if those flaps are missing then unfortunately you have to fail the item and uh, get them to replace the connector um, but yeah other things are there like, yeah, water boiler and there's an extension lead um, up there and the tricky ones that I've got to do in a minute is a couple of fridges which are kind of buried in so I've got to try and pull that out somehow and get to the plug behind so uh, yeah all in all not not too bad this one, but just a few tricky items, so just be prepared to, uh, kind of you'll need a little bit of extra time in these just because of uh, lack of space and uh, having to pull items out like that. So I hope the video helps and catch you next time.